It's another day at school for the kids getting off this bus, but instead of walking down a concrete walkway to a building made of red brick, on this day they're walking down a dirt path to a pond called Red Top. Today's subject is fishing. Reel it forward. There you go. And the teachers are fish and game conservation officers. Push and hold that button in. There you go. You're casting forward. Awesome. This is typically where we all began. Still, a lot of people, this is how they fish. Uh, you know, we still have a lot of fly fishermen, but uh, the majority of the folks, this is, this is what they do. You know, they come out and fish with uh, worms or power bait, bobber or on the bottom. And typically, this is where we all start. And with nice sized bass and bluegills easily enticed to take a bobber down, a family okay, fishing pond ahead. like Red Top is the perfect classroom for Fishing 101. I think it provides for a little better, better start for them instead of, hey, sit down and watch this pole and hopefully a trout will swim by and bite on it. Also teaching today's class are some bigger students, like high school senior Toby Moore. And then let go and you come forward. Yeah, just like that. There Toby loves fishing you know, and wants set. to contribute to the next generation. When you're little like that, you look up to, you look up to adults and you think they're the coolest person in the whole wide world. And you get to spend an hour with them fishing is, would just be awesome. So you don't want any curlies in your line. Toby's student, Victoria, is a first timer. Like that? But some of these kids are as seasoned as six-year-olds can be. I've been here like about four times and I caught a lot of fish. That has provided a great deal of fun and some education for little Anaya, but she understands that while both the red brick classroom and the red top classroom are important, each has its own distinct purpose. Mouth is learning. Fishing is something to do for fun. Steve Liebenthal reporting.